In this video, we will show how to quickly copy and paste elements within Cameo. That will get started. For this, we have a block definition diagram. We have a list of pets here. Dog is a type of pet. Cat is a type of pet. Fish is a type of pet, etc. And let's say we want to build this list out, but we want to do it um, from an Excel sheet. So we've got uh, a list of pets here, and we can just control C. And then we can go within our containment tree here and then do a control V and we say we want it of type block and you see that uh, it says seven created three failed and the reason that three of them failed was because we already had dog cat and fish in the list dog cat and fish were already there so it didn't remake those so now we can just drag these onto here and you can see that all of the uh, different pets are available on the diagram so now we can just create these relationships as we please. Additionally, if we wanted to uh, create the relationships faster so we didn't have to go and then pick generalization and select it, like uh, you can see how that's several steps if you have a bunch to uh, a bunch of relationships to make, you can use this sticky button, which basically once you've, you, so you select the sticky button and then you select the type of relationship you want to make and now it will remember it. So now I don't have to select generalization every single time. So now that I've done that, I can click escape. Let's say that I need four or five more um, pets that I want to add to this list. I can remember that my sticky button is selected. Now I can select block and I can just make a bunch of blocks really quickly. And then I can name them uh, like parakeet um, and let's see chinchilla and so forth. So that's a quick way to make relationships is the sticky button and then the copy paste is also a good way. Additionally just to show that you can make things besides blocks um, what I'll do here is I'll say uh, pet qualities and then this also works from Word, so I'll just copy this and I'll find, I want to add those qualities as a value property. So then I'll go to pet qualities, do control V, and then I'll say I want value properties. And then it says that the five value properties have been created and you can see them right there. And, and now, like if I were to go to, to dog, uh, you see that there's no attributes right now but if I were to create a generalization from pet to pet qualities, now if I go to dog and go to attributes, you can see that uh, these pet qualities have been inherited. So I could actually go in and uh, redefine these. So I could say string and spot. And then you could see that your dog now has inherited this value, but they redefined it so the dog's name is spot. Uh, so hope that that helps you.